Welcome again, everybody. This is a really, really late video. Um, I've just now gotten around to having some time to record the vocal track for this thing. So this is drawing Pizza Toss and Leonardo. And you can see I'm jumping right in. I'm starting with some of the basic shapes, the head shape, the shoulders, the, <laughs> the shell, the torso, whatever you call it on a turtle. I'm using photo reference for this one, and I'm not going to stick super closely to the photo reference. The photo reference is mostly just for the pose and for the um, details, the expressions, stuff like that. But I'm not going to worry too much about making my drawing match the toy because I do a lot of cartoon stuff. That's most of what I do. And so I'm going to be doing a cartoon drawing of this toy using the toy as a reference, if that makes sense. So for the pose, I'm using my typical technique of doing this stuff. I'm just using lots of balls and sticks and guidelines and referring back to the photo, changing things where it makes sense, uh, but trying to stick pretty close to the pose that's in that photo. Even though it's, it's kind of a weird pose because he has that giant thing on his belly, that pizza oven, whatever that thing is. You can see I'm going to draw through that. So I'm drawing the legs and I'm not using sticks for the legs because this guy has chunky legs and they support his weight. So I want to make sure I get that size and chunk of the legs. And here I'm drawing the other leg through, even though I won't see it, it's important that it's there so the overall pose um, feels right. So it doesn't feel like you've kind of drawn a thing floating in the air and then attached some legs to it. So roughing in the feet, roughing the legs in, I'm going to go ahead and bulk up the arms a bit. In this Leo, these figures have really chunky features, like really big bulky features. So I'm keeping that bulk as I rough in all the details. I don't care too much about anatomy on these because they are, uh, it is going to be a cartoon drawing and I care about basics of anatomy. More importantly is that things that wrap around shapes wrap around them correctly. So you can see where I fixed that elbow pad there because it was wrapped around the wrong way. The way that wrist is going, the elbow pad needs to wrap around it a certain way. Certain shapes and lines need to be in front of other shapes and lines so that it looks like uh, the depth is correct. So the right things are in front of and behind other things. So I'm kind of looking over the whole thing, jumping around, I'm jumping into the eyes to just get that part going. None of this has to be perfect yet, but I am trying to get the placement as close as I can. I'm not going to start details yet, but I do want to get the placement on everything um, pretty close to where it's going to go in the final drawing. Going in there with the mouth, going in there with the, I don't know, the nose, the beak. Those giant teeth. These guys remind me of um, Hot Rod. Um, not Hot Rod. Rod uh, Rat Fink. Ed Big Daddy Roth. They remind me of his stuff, which I'm sure was their intention with the bug eyes and the tongue sticking out. So I'm going to start roughing in the shell now. And again, I'm drawing through, even though we don't see this part of the shell, it's important that it's there. You want the form to be right. So I'm making sure that I have the, um, the shell roughed in pretty correctly. I'm going to do my usual thing of jumping around from place to place while I'm drawing. I'm showing this in real time. It's a long video. So if you want to speed it up, you can probably do it at two and a half times because I think I speak clearly enough that you could still hear me and it wouldn't sound too weird. But I want you to see what my real time process is when I'm drawing something like this. So um, drawing that weird little sword he has and the sword details, adding that stuff in, jumping around. I don't like the eyes, so I'm going to change those a little bit. This Leo has really weird eyes on this story. He's kind of wall-eyed, so I'm trying to get that look in because that's, I think, pretty essential to the overall look of this guy is that his eyes are kind of crazy looking. There's his bandana, a little, little bit more on the teeth, and um, I'm using Photoshop, and I have a brush I use. It's a stock brush. I think it's called... I don't know, charcoal or tarmac or something weird. I use it because it looks and feels like a pencil to me. So I use it a lot. And um, in fact, it's the only brush I use now for sketching stuff. For drawing, I just, for inks, I use a stock Photoshop brush, but I'll do an inking video one day at some point. But anyway, I'm kind of making sure all the bulks, the, the bulky sides of this thing feel right. Now here's one of those times where I am, I'm faking it. I'm not drawing it just like the toy looks because I want the drawing to look good. So I added that cheek on the side. Even though the toy, you can't see it there, I think the drawing looks better for the cartooniness, uh, the cartoony aspect of the drawing. I think it looks better with that cheek on the side. 
you certainly don't have to do that if you're just copying or if you're just drawing what you see in the photo you're just copying the photo then you don't have to add the cheek but I want this thing to look better um, I want it to look a certain way I want it to look cartoony versus just being a drawing of the toy so here I'm bulking in this weird what is that I don't, I've never known what that is I've had this toy since I was a kid and um, I don't know I guess it's a pizza oven I guess with a pizza on top I, I have no idea it, whatever it is I'm just kind of roughing in all the weird little pizza shapes um, the main thing is to get the structure of that little thing right and you can see how I did that and now I'm jumping around like I always do and just kind of fixing things here and there looking at the drawing looking at the photo um, I'm gonna start going in over the top and see some of my weird little layers in there I'm gonna start making some of my finished parts on this, some of the refinements. So this part is just me really getting tighter with the pencils. I'm not inking anything yet, but if I was gonna ink it, I would do this step before inking it. Now you can see I almost didn't do it, but I do draw the bandana before I do the eyes. Sometimes I forget and have to erase it because I wanna make sure the eyes stay inside that bandana for the most part, even if they come really close to the edge. That way the form of the bandana doesn't look weird. Now this isn't that important to some cartoonists but to me I, I like to have the form um, kind of be right I guess is the word my brain doesn't work that way where I can have it be way off and super cartoony that's one of the things that makes my work a little stiff I think and I try to break out of it but at the same time I'm not gonna break out of it here I'm gonna keep it the way I always do it so drawing the form of the bandana then roughing in the eyes and if I was going full bore cartoony I could do the eyes a lot crazier but I'm kind of like I said my work's a little stiff this guy's gonna be a little bit in between cartoony and um, what the toy looks like and I'm just cleaning it up here um, so I think I'm gonna stop talking for a few minutes and you can just watch me clean this up speed up the video file if you want to and watch my cleanup process
All right, so I did speed that up because there's no reason to watch me slowly draw in real time that whole thing. And if you if you want to, you can go back and slow the video down and watch it in real time. This whole process from start to end took me about 20 minutes to draw this guy from the rough to what you're going to see here at the very end. I'm just kind of finishing up the cleanup on him now and um, kind of rough and inching shadows. I don't usually do the shadow stuff in my cartoon drawings because a lot of it is intended for color. Um, but sometimes I do. I need to get better at that. Shadowing is one of those things that I, I don't do a lot of. Heavy blacks kind of make a drawing look better than just open, clear line drawing. So I'm working on that as an artist, I'm trying to get better at it. Using this reference to help me know where to put the shadows. A lot of it is coming down from that giant pizza thing on his belly. Um, but you can kind of see where this is going. So yeah, there we go. That's it. That's Leo. Thank you guys for watching. I will try to get another video up at some point. Uh, but thank you very much for watching this one. I'll see you guys next time.